Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Kirby Super or Kirby's Dreamland Three. Welcome to Iceberg. This is such ominous music, and yet it's such a cute uh, intro sequence. <laughs> Oh wow, DDD's castle is terrifying. Alright, I forget what the deal is with this one, so. Just gonna go for it. So, recently I've been playing, uh. Oh gosh, what is it? The Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remake. Well, the Pearl one specifically. And, uh. I appreciate the quality of life improvements, such as not requiring HM moves to be on your person in order to use them. You just need to have acquired the appropriate, well, they're all TMs now. You just need to have acquired the appropriate TM and the appropriate bag, and then you can use them anywhere. And I feel like that's a huge quality of life improvement. I mentioned previously that Diamond and Pearl, well, Platinum specifically, were my favorite generation of Pokemon games because of Diamond, well, because of Platinum and because of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Replaying it? Like, there's still a lot that I like about it. Like, the interconnected structure of the world. Well, of the region. Oh! I need fire for this one. Oh, hey. And they just give me fire. Anyway, the interconnected structure of the region. Where, like at least once during the story oh no no anyway what was i saying oh yeah at least once during the story they uh give you multiple options of how you get to point b also one thing that i loved about the game was uh the fact that at one point the professor tells you, hey, all you, I need you to go to these lakes. Now go. And then, uh... Instead of doing that, you can just go off to Snowpoint City to get the next badge. I don't know if that was intended or not, but... That was just something that I enjoyed. Unfortunately, like... I've mentioned before how I prefer when Pokemon games have, a uh, barriers where you get through them yourself rather than say arbitrary barriers of people are standing here having an argument or whatever and will arbitrarily disappear when you complete certain plot stuff well diamond pearl platinum and the remakes do both things i don't remember if uh Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow had the second variety of thing where people just arbitrarily block things off until you complete some unrelated to them plot point. Yeah. Sheesh. Those bats. Wow, I'm performing badly here. Anyway, I'm going to leave this one incomplete until I get the first ending. Oh. Because there's two endings, and if you get all the heart stars, you're locked out of one. And it's the one that tells you what all the uh, enemies are. What all the enemies are called. Anyway, I was saying a thing. Yeah, I don't remember if red, blue, yellow do the kind of barrier where... You had oh hey, Waddle Dee's riding on the boars. I feel like I should have seen that before now. Like I've heard people say that 
the guards of Saffron City are such a barrier, but no. You personally go in there with a thing and be like, hey guards, have this thing. And they're like, oh hey, we'll let you through now. So I don't feel like that's the kind of arbitrary barrier that I dislike so much. Because instead of you going off and doing something unrelated, you directly interact with the guards to convince them to let you through. And likewise, the bicycle road or whatever it is, the route where you only have, where you're only allowed on if you have a bike. Like, they tell you, hey, if you want to go here, get a bike. So that also doesn't feel like it's a totally arbitrary uh, barrier. I liked that sec- ooh, yes. I forgot to get ice for this. And you need ice for this. If I do find ice, Pitch will be the perfect user of it. I'm gonna go back here to see if I can find some ice. Anyway, something, something. Really? Anyway, what was I saying? Something, something. Oh yeah, Pokemon. Diamond and Pearl have plenty of cases. Really? Alright, fine. I just need to keep going and find ice. That was my bad. Because I'm not sure that I'm going to find ice within a volcano, but this level definitely had ice in it. Ugh. My own fault. Don't worry about it. Um, let's see here. Pokemon. I think one of the things I liked best about Generation 4 was... Well, the Heart Gold Soul Silver remakes of Gold and Silver. And also, the new evolutions of existing Pokemon. I loved that. Like, it took a bunch of existing Pokemon that either that had either ceased being relevant or had never been relevant and made them competitively relevant, even if many of them no longer are. And some of them still weren't. Like, Magmortar, I don't think, got any significant use. Huh, I can't aim this downward. Good job, me. I don't think those clouds hurt you, but I'm not willing to experiment. Okay, they don't hurt you. 
<sighs> There's a good reason to stick on the ground. It's to avoid getting yourself injured all the time. Okay, so. I don't think there's ice in this level. Wait, I'm pretty sure I saw snowmen on the way over here. When I first played this game, also when I first played Pokemon, I had never played a Metroid game. And so for this one, I had no clue how to deal with these until I just got lucky and got them with ice. I like that they don't actually damage you. I don't know why that is. Why is Kirby immune to Metroid Energy Drain? Is he just too alien for them? Is Kirby's just to, uh, I don't know. Is Kirby just fundamentally incompatible with the Metroids? Ah. There's no reason to go up there and you get punished for doing so. Oh no. Okay, good. Oh, you don't even need to destroy them, you just need to freeze them all. Ugh. Oh, thank goodness that I didn't get hit by that bat. I like the, what is that, foreground. I like the foreground stuff. It is neat. Oh wow. The, those enemies don't freeze, they just die. That is fascinating. I suppose I could jump over them. Well, jump backwards over them or whatever to get the soda, but... Huh, do the enemy... Oh, wow. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, hey, look! Another avalanche scene. Ah! Ah! Time to get away from the avalanche. Alright. No! Ah! No! I can't... No! I cannot see... Oh, that hurts. I fell behind and, for whatever reason, could not get ahead of the clouds. That was unpleasant. No, 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 not again. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, hey, Samus. Well, I think that's it for today. First time I played this, I had no idea who that was or why they would care about the death of those little flying bitey things. Those clouds can't directly hurt you, but wow do they make things difficult. Join me next time when I play the final minigame where a thing happens and you need to guess what it was. Is that how to I describe those now? I guess it is.